we're going to let you know the 11 things you must pack for your next cruise. Well, ahoy there, cruisers, where Ben and David together we are. Cruise with Ben and David. So let's start with tip number one, chargers and plug adapters. You're going to be taking loads of photos and listening to music, so make sure you have the right wall adapters with you. Most cruise lines offer a mix of US and European adapters, and some of the newer ships also have USB outlets available. Because usually there are only a few wall outlets, we like to take some USB wall chargers so that with one plug socket you can charge up to two or three USB items at the same time. We've popped an Amazon link to one in the description below. It's cheap and works perfectly well. We also recommend taking a portable charger for when you're in the port so you can charge your phones. So our second must pack tip is to put together some type of health bag or medical kit. This really helps you be prepared for any scenario. We usually take loads of medication, mm -hmm. things like painkillers, Tylenol, rehydration satches, tummy relief, and things like that. Other things to pack include NyQuil, antihistamines, insect repellent, and lovely hand sanitizer. And make sure you pop all of your prescription medication in here as well, so you don't forget and end up forgetting it whilst you're on the cruise. That little bag that we put together has come in handy so many times. Honestly, even if it's just a tummy ache, a headache, or you're a little bit hungover, it's it's, a, it's such a lifesaver, isn't it? Yeah, even a plaster or a bandage, you don't want to be searching in port for them, and you're probably going to get ripped off as well. Exactly. So our third tip is to grab an over-the-door organiser. Again, we've popped one in the links just in case you want to use that one. It's cheap, but we can hold loads of stuff. We hang this over the back of the bathroom door and it keeps all of our toiletries like shampoos, makeup, deodorant, hairspray, hairbrushes, everything really nice and organized because cruise bathrooms are usually tiny so it's great to have that little bit of extra room to store all of your stuff. Yep fantastic we do love our organizer and it also means that you can usually pack in the organizer and then you just pull it out of your bag stick hang it, it the up door. and you're done perfect so tip number four is to grab yourself some zip lock bags yep you've heard us right these are so handy for many things they keep water out of any of your, all your items and also sand off all your personal belongings so things like cameras phones and we also like to put things like money in there as well they're also great for popping in wet swimwear after you've been swimming so that they keep everything else in your bag dry. Yeah, we also keep things like hand sanitizer and things like sunscreen or anything wet to avoid any nasty leaks. And whilst you're packing as well, it's a good idea to put anything in that can leak in a Ziploc. Yeah lock bag and then into your main suitcase there's nothing worse than mouthwash or toothpaste getting all over your clothes this has happened to me it's actually happened with red wine before yeah. never never put wine in your in your suitcase it's a really bad idea yeah red wine ruined all of my clothes they're also really handy as well if you want to take snacks with you um you can just put some snacks in a ziploc bag and uh, take them off the ship or even just for yeah. walking around just go ship. to just go to the buffet grab a few croissants a bit of fruit and something it's a great idea it keeps it nice and fresh and yeah. clean stick it in the ziplogs and take it off on port so it saves a little bit of money. So tip number five is to take a watch and an alarm clock. There's usually some sort of time change during your cruise and phones and other devices where time changes are automatically done can sometimes not update and get a little bit confused. Yeah, we've been on cruises where we literally have no idea yeah. what the time is because has our change, has our time changed? Or is the ship in the actual location where the time should change? So you get really confused at what time it is and you end up going around to all of the crew and being like, uh, hi guys, uh, what time it is? Yeah. You can also check on your TV as well. It usually does give you the proper ship's time on there as well, doesn't it? Yeah, but it is, like you say, confusing. And I've had it where when my phone connects to the Wi-Fi, it'll actually change it to the place where the ship was built. Oh. So sometimes I'll get a time for like Germany or somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, you're in the Caribbean it's, it's like, ah. very confusing yeah so a cheap cheap little watch on your wrist can really make a big difference yeah this is most important as well import so that you get back to the ship in time imagine having your watch set wrong or your phone set wrong an hour wrong you would miss the ship and there's loads of events on the ship as well things like game shows theatres trivia and meetups and these are all timed so you don't want to be late for them as well and for an extra tip make sure your watch is waterproof so that you don't have to take it off in the pool shower and beach that's so always yeah. on you so our next tip is a big one is to bring your own refillable mug or bottle for your drinks we love the chilies bottles we're not getting paid by them nope. we've just used them for the last few years and they are really fantastic they come in some really cool colors as well we've popped them in the links as well and these keep your drinks cold for up to 24 hours and 
and hot drinks, hot for up to 12 hours. Trust us, this really works, even in places like the Caribbean. So not only does this help save the environment, but you're also saving money too by not buying drinks while in port or around the ship. So for tip number seven, we recommend you bring a beach bag and rucksack bag. Beach bags are great for carrying your towels, personal belongings, sunscreen and swimsuits on a beach day. Whilst at the beach you can also place all of your belongings and things in there so they're nice and protected while you're enjoying the, the nice sea. And if you're visiting a city we recommend you keep a rucksack on you as well. Keeps all of your belongings safe and on you at all times. You can even get a lockable one as well so it keeps it safe from would-be pickpockets on board as well. We also place any ID we need to take off the ship with us in there as well, as well as our cruise cards to keep them nice and safe while we're off the ship. So tip number eight is to bring a lanyard with you. It's the perfect thing to keep your cruise card on you at all times and keep it safe. It's almost impossible to lose it this way. We've lost cruise cards all the time that easily slip out your pockets. Yeah. And whilst on the ship, it means you don't have to bring your wallet or anything else out with you as well. It keeps it nice and accessible as well for when you're paying for things and getting on and off the ship. On every cruise you'll see that people always wear these. You can buy them on almost every cruise ship and we even take ours with us beforehand because it's usually cheaper to buy them at home and take them with you. So tip number nine is to bring a flashlight or night light. This is great because cabins can get super dark on a night, especially inside cabins as there's no natural light. Even on balcony and ocean view cabins, you usually have those blackout curtains so it's super dark. A night light is going to help you avoid stumbling around in the dark and waking up your cabin buddies. So there's nothing worse than needing a wee in the middle of the night than ending up accidentally turning on all the cabin lights. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it happens all the time, trust us. But a simple nightlight or a flashlight is perfect and helps you not disturb others in the cabin. So our next tip is to bring some small bowls. This is to help tip people. Excuse me? Did you say balls? <laughs> small balls. I small you balls. just said balls. <laughs> I said balls. So our next tip is to bring some small bills. This will help tip tip people like the luggage porter at check-in or for room service. They're also perfect for souvenirs in port. We usually take US dollars in the Caribbean as they're accepted basically everywhere or smaller European bills or coins in Europe. And for tip number 11, our final tip, tip oh my dears oh, the balls have gone it, to we're losing head. it now the balls have taken over <laughs> and for tip number 11 our final tip is to get yourself some packing cubes these do really make packing and unpacking super super easy they even organize your clothes by person and type of clothing however you want to do it Yep, we'll put socks and underwear in one, shirts in another, and pants in a separate cube, keeping everything nice and separate. And your case is going to look super tidy too. So mm -hmm. if you've got OCD with this sort of thing, it's a great thing. And when it comes to unpacking, it's super quick and easy too. We literally just take the cubes out and pop them in the individual drawers. Yeah, it's super handy as well if you have a pre-night stay at a hotel. You can pack a cube for the day before so that you're not having to rummage through your entire case to you know, find a pair of socks. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, so once we've unpacked, we use the empty cubes for laundry bags too, so that we can keep clean clothes separate from the dirty clothes. So guys, that's it for our packing must-haves. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing as it really helps us. And we've got some great videos coming, don't we, next yeah, year? We so guys, keep tuned. Make we, sure want, we don't want you to miss out. Hey, so hit that bell notification as well. Do it now. You can also support us on Patreon. This allows us to create even more content and we have some awesome rewards for you in return. So check out the link in the description below. Big thank you to our patrons and captain of the week is Amy. So that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. It does help <laughs> if you press record, guys. We've just done the first 10 minutes of the show. Don't press I'm record. I'm not even recording, so let's start again. That was a practice run. Practice run. <laughs>